You are about to see a unique Army communication facility located in the Pentagon. So unique and vital to our national defense that an extensive security control system is perpetually operational. On the other side of this electronically operated door is the Department of the Army Telecommunications Center. Hello, I'm Colonel William Taylor. And for the next 10 minutes, I'll be escorting you through one of the most sophisticated and automated communication centers anywhere in the world. Here in what we call Army Switch is part of a 560-line Department of Army telephone system with a directory listing that is worldwide. Army operator, sir. Okay. From these four console positions, continuously attended, only unclassified communication passes through the system. The Army Switch console, however, is only part of the system. The partner in this 560-line system is located in the Army Operations Center below ground level of the Pentagon. This is the Emergency Action Console, through which High President Manual Switching and Conferencing Services are continuously provided. The sophistication of this system links our military services and government agencies with speed and predetermined accuracy unknown to communicators during World War II and Korea. Call is ready. Go ahead, please. Let's assume that an incoming call received at the Emergency Action Console is a high priority intended for the Chief of Staff, Army, who is en route to a destination somewhere within the military district of Washington. Since the Chief of Staff is en route to a destination in Washington, D.C., this call is switched from the emergency action console to... Coffee, this is the AOC. I have a call for the Chief of Staff. Right. On the operator, sir. Stem Army sir. switch on the fifth floor of the Pentagon where the call will be processed by the co-located net control station of the Department of the Army FM Radio Command Network. From this console, the call will be relayed to the sedan carrying the Army Chief of Staff. Okay, we'll see From Saigon to the Pentagon, White House to the Joint Chiefs of Staff, for military commands around the world. This Army system ensures that voice communication is only a telephone call away. What you're about to see next are the electronic communication systems which link this telecommunication center to every level of our government, military and civilian. This facility operates under the direction of the United States Army Strategic Communications Command. It is operationally self-sustaining, providing its own air conditioning and power supply independent to that furnished the Pentagon. As conventional methods of communication could no longer meet demand, the distillation of modern communication was incorporated into the computer. Actually, the computer is much less dramatic in appearance than most of the hardware which comprises an information system. What is dramatic is the unseen speed and range of information available in what communicators call real-time service. Completely automated, incredibly fast, extremely accurate and reliable, and with a volume capacity which is almost limitless.
A message for transmission arrives here via pneumatic tubes. The message originator prepares the heading, text and ending. Security classification and transmission priority will also be shown. Hour and date received are stamped on every message. Now, automatic high-speed electronic equipment assumes control. These optical character readers receive a message and automatically read it for format accuracy at a rate of 10,000 characters per minute. The optical reader to your right produces a paper tape of the message, which will be used in transmission. This reader does not produce a paper tape. It is electrically compatible with the Army's automatic electronic switching system located here in the telecommunications center. Should either optical reader detect a format error, incorrect address heading, garbled words or transposed letters in prepared heading or ending, this video display tube gives an operator a system check to correct the error or errors so that the system will accept the message. When the system has accepted the message format, transmission is automatic through this intricate electronic message switching system. Every message is journalized onto tape and logged out on another tape for actual transmission. As many as 20,000 messages a day pass through this system on their way to destinations throughout the United States and overseas. Two identical systems provide 123 lines two of which are automatic digital network circuits. While automated systems have dramatically reduced manpower and space requirements, their complex and intricate design require human operators with superior skills and technical expertise. Automatic message switching to single or multiple addressees anywhere within the system is only one of the data communication services provided. Every message is automatically controlled, routed, held while higher priority traffic is sent, protected from becoming lost, and terminated at designated points as directed by information contained in each message heading. Every 15 minutes, the system makes an automatic circuit control check to ensure that no station in the system may have lost operational contact to transmit or receive. The performance, speed, accuracy, and reliability of this automatic switching system means that every level of our government can be instantly alerted to any incident wherever it may occur, which portends emergency, disaster, or international crisis. And it means swift response to civil emergencies and coordinated assistance to... All this plus day-to-day -day command and control and management functions. Despite the sophistication of electronic communication, the most important resource is still people. System specialists, equipment operators, maintenance technicians, and technical control experts whose professionalism and experienced skills enable these complex systems to perform and deliver as demanded. There are various data communication services provided by these systems by use of punched cards, or magnetic tape. An average of 30 separate customers involving several million records a month are processed by this particular real-time system, which automatically compiles and prints a daily summary of volume and service. This system, a recent addition, is among the most advanced in computer technology. Its information storage and volume capacity will deliver an even greater and more flexible range of communication services. This offline telecommunication center system provides a data and statistical record processing to its users, which includes automatic recall of any message transmitted through a system in this facility. 